All right, it's my honor, pleasure to bring you more stories of inspirational athletes. I'd like to welcome Keontae Story, who went from wounded to warrior and is here to share his incredible, incredible inspirational story. He also brought Koja, his service dog and best friend. Welcome to primetime. Really, thank you for taking the time out to, to be here today and to bring your cute dog. I don't know if we're, we're going to get a shot of your dog here. <laughs> Just a beautiful, beautiful animal, yeah, and he's, he's so sleeping. she's so mm. good. She he he he's a he. he. Yeah, he's sleeping. He's a service dog. So tell us about your very special inspirational story. Um, I was actually I guess I'll start from the time I was injured. I was injured in 2010 of September, uh, doing a patrol with my unit. Um, also, I'm a former Marine, prior service. Um, we're out doing patrol. Is this September 2012? Two, 2010. Oh, 10. Okay. Yes. Um, doing a patrol and there was an IED, improvised explosive device, and a compound, which is, uh, it, it was pretty much in the hallway, entrance of the building. And about 12 people stepped over this IED and I was actually at the doorway with my junior Marine. Um, as everyone went in, everyone kind of halted, stopped, and did whatever they were doing inside while I stayed outside. Um, I decided to go in and see what's going on and I, did, I barely made three steps into this building before the IED went off. Mm. Um, after the ID went off, everything pretty much went into a gray haze, ringing, um, things of that nature. And they put me in a stretcher, got me out pretty quickly. And, you know, after that, it fell on to recovery process and things of that nature. At what point did you, because you lost your leg in this? Yes, right? I'm a, uh, right below the knee amputee. Um, that was that site. Uh, it was lost at the site. Did you realize that right away or did, did it take you a while to realize you lost your leg? Uh, I realized it um, pretty much after a while. I didn't want to put myself into shock, so mm -hmm. I gracefully looked down really quickly and kind of just glanced at it. But I knew I was amputee at that point. Mm. So, what's going through your head at this time? Uh, Take us there because <laughs> it's hard for us to fathom what you went through. I uh, just remember I was I was awake the whole time. I didn't lose consciousness, and so I remember step by step, play by play, word by almost what they're word. saying to you. Yeah, and so it's just it, it's still a little bit overwhelming when I go back and think about it, especially the past Monday that just went by Memorial Day. You know, it's uh, one of those times where you kind of just don't want to go back too far in depth, and mm -hmm. it's an emotional time. So uh, and that was. Two years ago, three years, almost, almost three, years, three years ago. Three years yeah. ago. Um, and how old are you? Do you mind me asking? I'm 24. <laughs> You're young. You got the whole your whole life ahead of you. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I'm looking at this handsome <laughs> young man who's capable of doing anything in his life, right? Yes. I mean, you know, <laughs> stars are limit. Yes. So, what? Do you, tell us what you're doing now and how you've rebounded. Um, what I'm doing now, at this very moment, is actually pursuing the Paralympics in track the 100 and 200 meter sprint. Awesome. Um, hoping to go to nationals here shortly. That's in three or four weeks from now in Texas. Um, but other than that, I mean, I'm doing other things. I'm hiking. Um, earlier this year, I climbed the highest m peak in Antarctica. Which is? Um, I should uh, know that. <laughs> why did I just forget the name? Mount Vincent. Good for you. <laughs> How long did it take you to do that? That was, overall I was gone from the U.S. three weeks and that was about a week and a couple days. Okay, people with both legs would have a hard time doing that. <laughs> yes. That's an incredible story. Yes. So what are you doing? Always like setting new goals, new challenges for yourself? Pretty much. Any, anything that I find interesting to do mm -hmm. and that seems it would be inspiration to others and also just another way to challenge myself. I find entertainment just trying, trying out, you mm -hmm. know. Um, they asked me if I wanted to do that mountain. I was like, sure. Didn't know anything about the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what. Yeah, it was. Uh, was it no molehill? Yeah, was it? No. <laughs> it was a mountain. It was a it, big mountain. It was. It was pretty tough. So you're, now you're doing track, and you're you're going to compete. Did, were you interested in track? Did you compete when you were in high school before mm, this? No. Um, I competed in track as of last year, um, Endeavor Games, if I'm correct. No, last year was actually Paralympics. Uh, Paralympic trials was last year, and actually. It was able to make it there, mm -hmm. but before that, I actually started after my injury, uh, found a good coach out here, and continued just training with the coach, and just um, you know, just just moving forward. 
And that's all you can do, right? Because yeah. you're moving forward Just and move you're forward. making, uh, I mean, hello, you yeah. did not let that really bad nightmare day that changed your life, change your mm -hmm. life for the worst. You're making the best of the situation and yes. you're making your life better than most people I know <laughs> that have everything, yeah. right? Yes. And they don't do anything with their lives and you're doing great things with your life. Yes. So, I mean, I'm so honored that you're here and you're such a great inspiration to everyone who's watching. Thank you for having you me. You know, um, let me ask you. So you've got this competition and yes. I know you're going to do well. <laughs> and I, if I had to put my money, I'd put my, <laughs> put all the chips with you, buddy. Oh, put it all on me just yeah, I yet. Would. I would. <laughs> Not just yet. I don't care. All right. <laughs> so you want me over. But let me ask you this. Looking into your life and you set these goals, where, where would you like to see yourself in 10 years, five years? Um... In three years, I would like to hopefully make it to uh, the Paralympics for track. Uh, but beyond that, I, you know, I don't really look that far ahead. I kind of just look at day by day, you know, step by step. Is baby there steps. a career or something that you're interested in? Um, hopefully, make it, you know, to the Asian position in the FBI. But if not, I mean, I'm also, Ooh. I like animals. We got I some hookups in the FBI, buddy. <laughs> and so I also <laughs> like uh, animals and pursuing the veterinarian uh, field also. So. Um, something uh, enter, enter, entertaining. See, that's what I'm saying. You have a lot of people who support <laughs> you and open doors for you, yeah. right? Because you see a guy that's a go-getter and you're brave and courageous and just, you're amazing. Yes. Amazing, strong yeah. man, really. Thank you. Talk about yeah. a great human spirit right here, folks. <laughs> Thank you. Doesn't get better than this. Thank you. Is there like a, one, a message you want to send out to our viewers before we sign off? Um, pretty much uh, just through the stuff that I've been through lately and daily. You know, just to never really give up, never, you know, you, you're going to go through those hard times and you're going to go through the ups and downs and sometimes you're going to get to that point where you feel like, you know, I'm done, I don't want to do it anymore. But you really got to look deep and down, you know, really mm -hmm. dig deep and see that, you know, you're worth a lot more than what you think you are and you can do great things that inspire another person. That's really all that matters. You know, you inspire one person, it's like a wildfire after that. It and sure so, is. And yeah. like, is there, there's not a greater feeling on this earth, is there? No. No, there really isn't. No, there's not. <laughs> yep, you, got, you got it. While we're all here, that's it. That's the reason. Thank you so much for coming on Prime Time. No. I want your doggy to, <laughs> to play with the dog. This is a beautiful dog.